Yo, it's speedy. Because <laughs> we're going to make it a little mystery. It's your boy. It must be a Wednesday, 7 o'clock on the west side. 10 o'clock on the east side. It's Sirius 106 XM, XFM 149, baby. Yeah. New year. Two weeks in, three weeks in, whatever it is. We in this shit. Yo, it's your boy on the air. Got a great show for you tonight. Got a hot, hot, hot show for you tonight. Uh, a lot of people on the show, so we got to hurry up and get this thing rolling. Uh, first of all, I'm going to throw this out there. Dealing with some things with my son, I got a uh, 21-year-old son, and I got a feeling he's hand-packed, and I don't know what to do. I'm in Vegas. His, we in Vegas for uh, New Year's Eve, and uh, his girl's hanging out with me, Fox, which is a bad scene anyway. She hanging out with me and Fox, and uh, she starts showing me texts of my son saying, hey, I miss you. Where you at? And I'm like, fuck, my son, my seed. Letting me down. So the question is, should I intervene? Should I try to help my son? Should I? I think it's henpecked. Or, uh, or you have a friend that's henpecked, and you ain't told him he's henpecked, or he ain't, most of the time they don't believe it no way. Let us know. 877-2106-106 is the number. Also, too, we are exactly six days away from the inauguration on the 20th. Your boy's going to be on stage 30 feet away from Barack. So I know it's going to be cold as hell out there. So, And we got a young man in the house, high school student, who's going to the inauguration. Took out a loan from his high school, $1,800. I didn't even know you can borrow money from your high school, but apparently you can. And uh, But he got to get that back before he graduated. Did I say graduated? I think graduated. But anyway, so we got that young man on the show. We also, too, got my man with the gear. Uh, it's called Big Head Gear. It's for ladies. Yeah, heads. And it's for uh, ladies and guys, and we're going to be giving away some stuff. So definitely stay in touch. 877-2106-106 is the number. Uh, if you a great call or you really got something to say, especially about the topic, we're going to give you some, uh, some of the stuff. We're going to give out some of these uh, the clothing as well. And uh, definitely want to make sure that we give mad love to XM Radio 149, Series Radio 106. Thank you all for listening. It's Speedy's Comedy Corner, and i be Speedy up in this biatch. Be back in a minute. 8772-106-106. Yo, it's your boy. It's Speedy's Comedy Corner, and I'll be Speedy up in this. Yeah. <laughs> it's a Wednesday. See ho is in the house. What's up to all the people out there who fell off in the game of life? <laughs> <laughs> How you living, See ho Ain't nothing, motherfucker. Uh, just let the crib feel better. Yeah, oh, see, out. Got, just out. You got yeah. a little bedazzled sweatsuit. Who did yeah. that for hey, you? Hey, man, look, this helped me get bitches who grew up without a father. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? They got <laughs> all the bling bling. Anything <laughs> <laughs> with a little shine on it, they all right on shit, it. Oh, some slippers. All right. <laughs> Holes be mesmerized. I washed my car one day and got a stupid bitch. <laughs> get the fuck out. You hit it already? My car was bling and it was clean. You know, they'd be like, ooh, shiny. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of Christmases, they were disappointed, so not shiny shit worked. Fellas out there that's not. Take your responsibility with your daughters. Just listen to Corey Holcomb. That should change your mind really? about being yeah, in your you daughter's life, right, Corey? Stay around. Yeah. Also in the house, we got to start calling him Philadelphia uh, Lewis Dix because Philly keep winning. Eagles, Lou Dick in the house. Eagles, Eagles. Hey, Dix. Hey, how you doing? Oh, we got a Cowboy fan here. <laughs> Damn right, yeah, you got a Cowboy fan. Chicago man. Bears, y'all y'all haven't been there in a while. Shout out to the Bears. Right. Bears is going to win. You ain't no football. Hey, fuck Bears the Bears. They, all these years, they still ain't got a quarterback. Uh, they going to get Michael Vick. It's about to. <laughs> no, we get Michael Vick. It's about to. He's going to Oakland. Vick going to Oakland, man. Watch. Remember I told you. Vick going to Oakland, man. Watch. Remember I told you. Yeah. Also in the house. Back with us. He's been going. Arizona. The fans Can I finish? Take it. Okay. I was Thank you. Uh, back in the house, uh, he been go. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> Rodney Perry. <laughs> what up? Rodney. Dot com. Yeah, right. You know, we've been wilding now. We're doing some some positive things in our life. But glad to be You're back. Happy New Year to everybody. Life. Got the form the, uh... fitting shirt on, too. That's confident. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice you got some man titties. Right, it ain't That's really, man you know, titties. I ain't really right. there yet. But man you know, fuck titties. It. They, got, they got thug lucky. pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> thug PJs. It's a long <laughs> sleeve <laughs> thermal hey, shirt with a design on hey, the front. Hey, homie. You the shit is senior citizen bingo, man. They got stripper for the old Chocolate motherfucker, they Wow, look at his nipple. He got a nipple ring. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> He's lost weight, though. You look nice. No, no, I found it. I found it. You found right it? <laughs> <laughs> also in the house, the Sullivan Nympho. Lamar Odom. <laughs> wow. Hey, she, she removed her bang. <laughs> she hit more shots. Tangerine. I did. I'm just wearing a hat. <laughs> She's wearing a hat. 
She got a skull My cap record on, is too. better than Lamar's. What's up? It's the Celibate Nympho Tangerine. What's up? What's up? My mom <laughs> loves the show. I got her the iPod with all of the Who, shows from 2008. Yes, my mom is. Oh, Odom. wait a minute. And she Stop. loves Stop. the show. Stop. So I get a phone call. I never get a phone call from Tangerine in the middle of the week. And Ever, her mama really? on the phone. She said, "How you doing, baby?" I said, "Okay." She sound a little chunky, I'm at the you know what I'm saying? Hit Tan's mom. I, hit, uh, I had to hit the Orange mom. Street because see Tan's ring. No, no. The mama got to be the Orange Street. You know what I mean? My, my mom, mom got ass, though. My mom got anyway, big ass, but she's not So, so, so mom's is on the phone going, "Hey, I heard you on the show. I love the show. Even though you were saying stuff about my daughter, I said that wasn't me. That's Corey. Hoko. Oh, she knows Corey. She said a lot about so, Corey. But wait, yeah, Tanger, you seen Tangerine mom? What she look like? My mom is gorgeous. Tangerine mom is the shit in clubs and bad neighborhoods. <laughs> you, nigga. You, you tried to hook my mama up with your uncle, nigga. My mama look good. All the clubs with a church bus in the parking lot. Bring on, bring on Hollywood. She's going to be waiting in line. Yeah. <laughs> Step right, right here, man. Step right here, man. Let me ask you a question, uh, though, Speedy. You, you want to tell the, the, the size of a girl yes, by her voice? Yes, I can. Yeah, because they have gravy in their throat. Damn. <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway. Disgusting. We got a, two guest Who comedians in the house. This? First of all, we got my man from Los Angeles. Uh, we go back a long ways. The chess game is eh. But he yeah. in the house. <laughs> Eric Blake's in the house. What's Cowboy up, fan. What it do, baby? Yeah, you gotta stay right up on that microphone. Cowboy fan. What it do, baby? That's right. I'm cowboy fan. Yeah, we gonna we gonna we gonna get it right and come back next year. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> also in the house from New Jersey, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, apparently, he set it on fire last night. How do how do he go up on the Chicago show? I thought it was all Chicago. Will yeah. Silvins went up this too. Is the fucking yeah, bullshit. <laughs> anyway, uh, he went up on the Chicago show here in L.A. and then he destroyed my man Jonathan Martin. Yeah, yeah. In the house. How you living, In the Bill? building, man. I'm good. You good? I'm good. Yeah. These niggas ain't shit. They going to get at you. Jersey. They don't hey, even man. have a football team, do you guys? Wow. They don't listen, even give you five man. minutes to get on. Jersey, show. baby. What? Who? You, you know where the Meadowlands are? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. The Jets. Right. I thought yeah. he's for the no, swing on I think they're about to fight. And, and, and <laughs> where? Oh, oh, oh. He's young. He's young. And, and them Giants. And them Giants. Wait a minute. You just took care of the Giants. That's all right. That's all right. We got the big one. Y'all trying to get the big one. I have a champion. We are the champions right now. Yeah. Yes, I, when I team. think of the Eagles, I think of Donovan McNabb. I, I hope he wins the Super Bowl. You know, it's not going to happen. Anyway, today's show, man, <laughs> we got a hot ass show for you today. Well, Jonathan. Corey, you missed yeah. it. We're um, pregnant. No, hilarious. <laughs> my, we're talking about being henpecked. My son, his, he, I think he henpecked because. What, 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 what does that mean? Sprung? I thought is that this an old people's term? No, we, we could. Yeah, it's kind we of could, old. We could. I thought it was fat hoes who wear tight shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Tangerine mama couldn't make it this week. The fuck you, wow. nigga. My mama ain't fat. <laughs> <laughs> you wish she was fat so you could hit it, but no. My mom is anyway, very what anyway, shape. Huh? So what happened, Corey? I'm in Vegas and uh, with Fox. We party on New Year's Eve. And no girl's hanging out with us. My son back here. But she keeps showing me texts of my son going, hey, I miss you. When you coming back? Whoop de whoop. I'm fucking losing it because I don't know if to call and say something. I still ain't said shit to him. And, and my other son said, nah, Dad, I try. I told my son, well, won't you say something to your brother? He said, Dad, I tried. It just don't work. How old is he? Uh, 23. So my, uh, my question, and I'm throwing it out there to my listeners, do, is it up to me? Should I say anything to him? Should, we, should I be the one to go, hey, uh, pimp? Yeah, bitch, son. is a hoe. Well, not even that. It just... You ain't supposed to be texting no girl back going, I miss you. And she got two kids, and she in Vegas wilding out with wilding Jamie Foxx. Wilding out Fox. with me. And you. And yeah. Why is yeah, that's, his... That's, that's, whole why is no, your bitch <laughs> no future with there. daddy? So your son, I want to make sure I got it right. Your son wasn't in Vegas. No, no but his he, bitch was with Speedy. He was here. I don't she, understand that. Who was that. the son with? He was just at home. They with were watching him. With her two kids. Kids. With her is she a big girl? <laughs> that nigga was babysitting? No. That nigga was babysitting. <laughs> watching the two kids. kids. No, that nigga was, was babysitting with <laughs> Louis Dix. You a when cold you pops, back. man. You <laughs> said you was going to get you a cold pop. I miss you. So he's texting her the whole time. Every five minutes, she goes, look, Mr. Caldwell. And it's my son. go, I miss you. So I, I guess I'm Nigga, throwing the question Mr. out. Mr. Caldwell yeah, is Mr. what Caldwell. I have a problem with. 8772 <laughs> 106, 106 <laughs> is the number to call in. Let us know what you feel about this. Rodney, you have son. Yeah. Uh, he's matter of fact, he's here. What yeah. would you do in that case? Do you Would you walk up and talk to him? I mean, uh, man, you, you got to impart your wisdom. That's your job as a father, to impart your wisdom mm. to your son. If you see your son But do you your say, son, son don't do this because it's going to make you look bad? Uh, well, you, you tell your son, look, dude, you know, you growing up, you know, let let yourself be missed. You know, you can't be checking for somebody 24-7. Your girl, first of all, is showing me the text message. So if she's showing me, she probably showing anybody yeah. else that want to look. Yeah. So you just got to watch your, how, how you perceived. And, mm. you know, fuck that bitch anyway. She got two kids. Lewis Dix. You know. <laughs> I will snitch. I'm a snitch. I'm going to tell him everything about her. 
If I learn something about her, I'm gonna say, hey, he, she did that. Don't do that. Don't, don't, don't look like that. Don't would senior cool. do that? What my w- dad? Would your dad yeah. What would your dad have did? Uh, my dad would have said, hey, uh, my dad would have let me. He, he on, your own. on your own. Let me tell you that. something, right. Lewis. I've been Corey smoking Hulk, with what your, your girl. Dad, man? <laughs> well, I'm just saying, like, um, I don't. I, I never bad mouthed my daughter to her mom, even mm-hmm. though her mom was a lousy bitch. Whoa! <laughs> I just let. <laughs> okay. I just. Well, let, we don't even know that right now. I let yeah, my daughter see who her mom was, and not in my daughter. But if, had it been your son, would you step up and say, "Hey, son, you don't be," because t- I guess for me, "Hey, son, know what? Just finish that," because I'm I'm a little lost. Uh, if it was your son, would you be like, stop texting her? Stop stop following behind that woman like that? You ain't never supposed to follow behind a woman. And and that's what I, I'm trying. I don't so know would if you I tell your a... son not to if he was sprung on somebody? Yeah. Hey, if the bitch like you, she'll show you. That is it. 877 We got a phone call. We got Rod out of Alaska. Damn. Wow. Sarah Palin in the house. Can you see Russia? What's, What's up, up, Rob? What's happening with you, foxhole? What's up, man? What do you think I should do, bro? Man, look here. First of all, Speedy, you ain't shit, man. You ain't shit. <laughs> you ain't shit. I was just telling that nigga. It's a bitch. But why don't you put the man on blast, man? You put your son on blast. You know, I'm an only hell. But, you know, my next question <laughs> to you up. is, you know, what, what I was saying, they say, does an apple fall far from the tree? No. Nah, but, but that's the thing about it. No, I'm not. I ain't th- and that's why it's bothering me so much. Because it's like, well, fuck. I ain't never fall behind no woman. Fuck yeah, that. See this not, not if your big speedy man. ain't follow behind nothing that small. <laughs> and <laughs> all right. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey! I got a text from Speedy. <laughs> <laughs> but look, Rob, do you have any sons? Yeah, I got a son, but you know my boy ain't old enough to get in the game. But when he do, daddy gonna put him in the, in that right, you know. And but, maybe that's what you need to do. Put them up on some of them big girls, lower their self esteem, lay their heels up, you know, damn. and put them out there. That's awful. You it know what? Up. I would take your advice on that, Rob. <laughs> Rob, that was get great his, advice, Rob. Oh, great thank you, bro. It's a fact. I say get his. And maybe you got to arm him before he get in that situation. Before you, I you thought know. I did. It ain't but, but 19 stuck up fat bitches in the world. <laughs> I got 18 of them at any given right. moment. Kid, Speedy, you got oh. 28 kids, so you one slip through. <laughs> <laughs> I got. <laughs> we got Walt B from uh, Pennsylvania in the house. What's up, Walt B? Walt B hey, Walt. from Pennsylvania. Walt B from LA. I'm rolling through Pennsylvania. They ain't said they ain't yeah. put it like oh. that. But how you doing, Walt B? What's up, dog? Oh and, shit! Uh, <laughs> <What's> up, <man? laughs> okay. Ronnie Perry, what's happening, dog? Is your security guard? Oh, what's but up, anyway, Walt? Oh man, you man, I still want to whoop some ass. But anyway, uh, <laughs> just because. Yo, yo, uh, uh, B, uh, tell your son, you know, get your son, pull him to the side, uh-huh. and let him know that his girl was showing you the text message of how yeah. he was tripping on the text message. Now, don't, I mean, you already got him on blast, but kind of tell him in a controlled setting by himself. He don't you know? listen to the show. Well, I got full son, so. <laughs> So, so you that's what you were doing. That's great advice, too. I think I'm going to do that. Yeah. And, and I can't show him the text because it was her phone. Yeah. But just let him know I saw the text is what I should do, right? Well, he got the text in his phone. Yeah. He know what he said. Hey, hey he I have a question. You got to let him know. For the young yeah. comic, Jonathan, because he's, he's not far from that age. I'm sure you did. You How old are you, Josh? How old Jonathan you? is 40. How old are you, <laughs> I'm 30 years old. Man. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, he's still young. He's still, still young. So yeah. he got you got to let him know. Cause you gonna give him some cushion, cause he gonna get hurt either way. Yeah, but see what I want to know. I want to know about her, cause that thing got to be good. It, it probably is. I wouldn't know. She was <laughs> she a thin, light skin, cute. She cute. Uh-huh. She cute as a motherfucker. But if he's the average thin, light like skin girl, then had eight hundred to nine hundred <laughs> bitches. <put in. laughs> How many? How many? Wow. Eight hundred to nine hundred. Thanks like a lot, Corey. I appreciate that. I appreciate that visual too. They totally forget about them freak Nick years. Uh, <laughs> Speed, you got eight seven seven two. Do what? Pull this coat. You gotta let him know. Yeah, you gotta know. You, you, gotta, you know, the last time I did that with my son, I, I'll tell you guys the story. Fuck my my son. He wants me to take him out to his mom's house. He lives in, in, in Palmdale because his girlfriend gonna be there. And I'm like, I don't feel like taking him out there. So I said, let me see. So I said, well, uh, your mom said she's not coming over. He was like, no, nah, she's coming over. I, I said, no, she's not gonna be there. He's like, no, nah, daddy, she's going to be there. So you going to take me? I'm like, hold up, pimp. I said, your girlfriend ain't going to be there. Yes, she is. you, you going to take me. I said, well, you know, it's two ways this conversation. I'm going to knock you the fuck out or we're going to leave this alone. I said, let me leave it alone because if I knock him out, I ought to put my foot on him. So I, I had to leave it alone. But ever since then, I know I, I knew my, that particular son 
was going to follow behind women. Well, see, that's why you made him soft. You shouldn't, well, have, you kept, shouldn't have kept him soft. You should have got into right him right there. No, I mean. You, you failed right there. Damn, Lewis. Have, have, have you ever bought your son a hooker? You should have slept with him. <laughs> 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 should have slept with him. should have slept with him. should have slept with him more, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, I'm, you're right, Corey. You're right. Or sleep with the girlfriend and let him know that she really ain't shit. Wow. Ooh. I like that. If that she, was, had she been a chubby Eric girl, Blake, no, I would have never did yeah. that. But, um, she said she was cute, though. <laughs> 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 Thanks for the phone call. Uh, we got another phone call. Kev out of Mississippi. Kevin. What's up, man? How y'all niggas doing? What up, what up, <laughs> hey, man? Hey, you smoking nigga passing How are you around. Hey, <laughs> man, look here, man. Uh, first off, <laughs> I got to say, man, Speedy, you a little late on this shit, man. Look Probably like so. he on his way to being a puss ass nigga like me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Did, you say like did Lewis, he say like no, Lewis did? Yeah. Next we can't, I can't have that, but go ahead. Wow. The nigga at home, baby, send some other nigga kids. <laughs> 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 no, hey, second off, man, he need to know, you know, second he need to go through that heartbreak shit, man, so he'll learn that ain't none of these bitches shit. You know what I'm saying? Hey, okay, hey, hey. He I'm, ain't I'm, lying. Keep preaching, brother. <laughs> I'm down with you, Corey, man. Hey, man, you my nigga, man. Hey, his bitch clowning him already, man. She she showing his daddy shit that he texts him, man. Hey, man, he need to go home and grab that nigga around his throat, man, and tell him to loosen up, man. Shake well, that bitch, man. Well, I'm Kevin, do that. You go, real. You go, oh, go fix that transmission. <laughs> hey, leave him alone, uh, Louis. Hey, that brother, that, that brother was dropping knowledge. I'm telling you, every man need to run the Corey Holcomb experience. Which oh, is? Man, please. I want you to start dating two women at the same time. One of them, I want you to bring her roses, flowers, treat her like a goddess. The whole time. Now, the other one, I want you to stand on this bitch head in the street. <laughs> <laughs> The bitch you had Corey. you stand on going to be there for you. I'm telling you. The way you treat good going to tell you you're weak and you ain't shit. Exactly. Now, now come, uh, Tangerine, coming from a woman's point of view, I'm thinking am I about wrong? this experience. Am I wrong? Oh. Um, are you wrong? That what? For taking their, I'm going to take their advice and just tell my son, you, hey. Yeah, but it is too late. I mean, what do you expect that you telling him at this point is going to do? He's already whipped. I mean, I want to know why she's in Vegas and this nigga stayed at home. It like, ain't why? her. He just get pussy whipped. That's what it is. Yeah, so he's not going to change, but I mean, you should definitely tell him so that he can no. know, but <laughs> I love he's still going to be sprung. So is that part of you, your character? You get, no, you get whooped? Never that. Does, Hell no. Just, where's your hey, son get that from? From his phone and get on. How many kids has he got? From his stepdad? Never that. Well, you got too much variety. He fucked fat hoes on purpose. Shit, we be like, man, let me call this fat guy. He calls him first. He calls him first. She got faux booties. Hey, but but we gotta look at the the other side of it. Maybe he's not. Maybe maybe he's truly in love with her. Maybe he was. Maybe he was getting some head while he was texting her. I mean, in love with somebody that ain't in love with you. You can't Nigga, love. it happen every day. My mama told me this one thing right here, dog. Don't ever love nothing you can't that don't can't love you back. So, but but so if you don't know that, took you a minute to get that out. If you don't know that, you know what I'm saying? So it's love. <laughs> really that your kids are with him. Why she in Vegas? Well, we didn't say we the kids, say the kids are with him. We were the joking about that. Man. Don't matter. They're saying the same. They ain't, they ain't with her. All right, we got another Sounds phone like call. a low caliber bitch. That's all we're trying to say. Period. We got another phone because hopefully she don't listen to the show. Type of bitch you skied on <laughs> we'll her back. We'll find out later. <laughs> we'll find out in a minute. She might be on we got a, a young lady on the phone out of Mississippi. What's we got uh, Tammy yeah. on the phone. What's up, Tammy? Hey, hey how you doing? Tammy. Thank you for the phone call, too, baby girl. Oh, you're welcome. I love you guys. Thank you. <laughs> but I just want to I have three sons. And my oldest son was dating this chick. And he's just running around like a sick puppy. And she's making him looking like a fool and all this kind of stuff. You know, we have to school our kids. And he comes sit down to me looking all sobby with his the big puppy dog guys. And I say, you know what? I say, stop letting that bitch make you look like a fool. I say, you need to drop her ass like <laughs> you a hot go. potato. But you how know, long did it take you to say children. that, though? How long did it huh? take you to say that? How long did it take you to get oh, to that point? No, for three years, unfortunately. You should have said to him, don't let her do you like I did your daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Corey, that was very funny. Are you a single parent, Tim? Daddy Week. Daddy Week, too. I'm sorry. <laughs> daddy Week. Hey, you don't get that. That's true. That's true. I have to have a strong man because I run it. Daddy's the muffin man. Now, now, has he changed his ways Women or is he no still the same? Man. He has changed his ways somewhat. But he, for some reason, he always wants the one that he can't have and she make him look like a fool. Oh. I don't know what that is with these young teenagers, you know. Well, all you can, do is, all well, you can do is try to impart life. some wisdom in them and, and tell them the right thing, you know, like like the other dude just said. They got to hit that concrete wall, you know. 
But you know what, Tammy? Yeah. Oh, Lord's you, dead. You, Be careful, you, Tammy. This is advice coming from a man who we all know what happened to him. <laughs> Lewis, <laughs> go right ahead, Lewis. And go, Lewis. Tammy, I appreciate how hard you worked with your son, and, and, and God bless you. Ain't this a bitch. All right. Thank you, love, for the phone call. Thank you, Tammy. Well, good. you know what, Tammy? Stay on the phone. Tammy, you there? Yeah. She there? She go. Okay. She go. We give him your uh, address. Well, shit, I don't know if she give him an address. Yeah, give me we, your address. We're gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna come over. We're gonna send you. Uh, oh, Lewis. We're gonna send you one of the uh, uh, big headed outfits. What size are you? Oh, that's awesome. I'm I'm a 16 W or a one X. She sounds shit. I love Uh-oh. that. Oh, that's, that's right. And that's just what she was willing to right say. Up, that's right up. <laughs> that's her real <laughs> size on the offense. Oh, yeah. That's right up. That's right up both your alleys. So, so, right, I'm trying to figure out. out. So we're gonna pay your Lane Bryant's credit card bill. Every girl. That Please don't give the address on the air. So what we're gonna do? Off air, give them your address, and they're gonna get your address, and we're gonna send you an outfit. Okay. And a sandwich. Okay, cool. And a Thank sandwich. you, single parent mom doing it. You go ahead on, Tim. Eight seven seven two one zero six. She said, "What size? 16? That's a big girl. That's a big girl. That's a big girl. Sixteen W. Yeah. That means girl. wide, right? Yeah. That ain't wow. the biggest though. Huh? That ain't the biggest. What, what does it go up to? What does it go up to? What's your usual? Twenty five, twenty. That bitch is useless in Cancun. That's all. I got. <laughs> 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 no, she's not useless. She can always be shade. A shade. <laughs> so I can't take her to the Bahamas. Hell ah. no, boy. Hey, blocking out all the sun. So Eric, uh, yeah, you have kids, but you don't have a son. I have a son that's twenty one. So. You have a son, 21? son 21? Are you dealing with this or doing something I'm like that? I'm dealing with something a little even deeper, man. My son just You want to stay on that microphone? Oh, my here, son man. just got a girl pregnant, man. Oh. oh. So you a granddaddy. Granddaddy. Ain't yet. And he's to be. He, Are they having it? No, this is so cold blood, man. You got to stay on that. You got to stay son, right up on the tip This is so cold blood. My son is such a player. This nigga going to make her sign a, uh, a paper filling out that she wouldn't hit him up with child support if she had the baby. Wow. That shit ain't gonna hold up. I said, you stupid ass nigga. No. Wow. He's gonna, wow. gonna be a man, whatever happens. I ain't mad at what he's trying to do, though. Man, I understand that's, it, a Corey, I, that's a Corey Hoker move. You might want to send him over to Corey House. I know how to stress a bitch into an abortion. I don't be worried about that shit. I'm like, bitch, you pregnant? Oh, Watch this. Did <laughs> ah! you stop scaring me? That is not funny, Corey. <laughs> These are women that have You're feelings. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Take her to see bloody oh, Valentine. That that's right. That's right. You the one that said you take him to Magic Mountain or to the roller coaster. Yes. Put him through a lot of shit. Take that bitch skating. Now <laughs> she's eight months. All kind of physical sports. What, what, if, what if the baby make it through all of that? That's a bad. And little, it's deformed. Uh, bad That's motherfucker. Funny. That's a bad well, little. Well, he did. <laughs> they come out with all kind of knots, cock out of motherfucker Benjamin Buttons after that. <laughs> I saw that movie. That was a good one. 877-2106-106 is the number to call into. We got Ken from Georgia on the phone. What's up, Ken? How you doing, Speedy? Cold chilling, man. What should I do, bro? Uh, I just had the same thing happen to me. My daughter, she was dating this boy, and he wasn't worth a pot full of cold piss. What did he say? A pot pot full of cold cold piss. And he got the pussy, though. (laughs) Corey. (laughs) Go ahead, Ken. uh, Don't let Corey fuck with you, man. (laughs) Basically, I I just sat her down. I didn't keep harping on her and keep harping. I just pointed her out. She had a heart to heart. So, listen, the boy ain't worth a fuck. He ain't never been worth a fuck. He ain't never going to be worth a fuck. And then I pointed out his flaws and told her, asked her, is that what you really want in life? And left Mm -hmm. it at that because lessons of the heart are best learned the hard way. Now, did she take the advice? Hell no. Hard headed. <laughs> you know what, Ken? Ken be listening to this me. is Lewis. And then, it went south, just like it always does. And when it, her heart was broken, and I had to sit her down, it wasn't a ha ha, I told you. But it was more of a, see, this is why I was telling you this. This is why oh, I told okay. you before. And it wasn't because I was trying to, I didn't just like him, because I, well, I didn't like him, but that yeah, wasn't the only point. But I was trying to point something out to her. And also, it sounds like your son has a confidence problem. He needs to find something in his life what do you see to, do to wow. help him get the confidence back. Mm-hmm. So he won't daddy, be first his women daddy got to change more like his mom. No, no, I like that. I like that. Yeah. This uh, is the, but I think it's harder. I think it's harder for, for, and I appreciate the phone call too, man. I think I it has can. to be harder for a parent with a daughter because little girls definitely hard. get definitely dick get, put up in them. Definitely hard. Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> they get really oh, sprung on these brothers, and, yeah. and there's nothing you can bring them back. Well, I, step, I step, step in the mess. I step in there. I Did go your right dad, there Tangerine, ever tell you to uh, not date a certain guy? No, they, I um, I actually chose some cool guys until the one that tried to kill me, but um, they liked them. You always seem to come back to that story. I know, because <laughs> that was like a really, really long experience. No, he hit me. He had and a stalk? Me. 
yeah. It was yes, a, don't a do long it. Story. Don't do it. Leave it alone. But, um, but no, <laughs> they, my, they, he was actually my boyfriends when I was younger. <laughs> they were very close with my dad, oh. and my mom. So, <laughs> but I will <laughs> Chorus. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I'm trying to react. What happened to her? Yes. Thanks for the time. So anyway, say please, please, please say it. So I think I think it's got to be harder. <laughs> Eight seven seven two one zero six one zero six is the number. Call in. We're talking about being henpecked for a boy and whether or not my son uh, basically pretty much is henpecked. And should I step in and try to correct it, or is it too late? Too, too late, late, man. You failed. Too late. Josh, this will make, nah, make nah, it too late. It ain't too late. You got, you got too late. You got to address the issue now because see, yeah, I got Regardless of the fact, nature's gonna run its course. He's gonna. Hit that brick wall, like they said, but it's about being redeemed, mm -hmm. being able to say, "Well, you know what? My pops did try and look out. My pops did try." But and Speedy, didn't you grow up with your son? Yeah, that's so what makes it fucked up. How is he not prepared for the world? And nigga, I made sure children that grow up yeah. around me don't want to believe in shit. <laughs> Attaboy. No, no, they don't believe in Superman. They don't <laughs> believe in <laughs> nothing. Not claws, destroy all that. Tooth fairy. Tooth fairy, no, no, no expectations. No dreams. You six months, but nigga, ain't no Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in right. Ain't no tree going up. No, no. Yeah, no. We don't do no I'm lights. Santa Claus. We got a six-year-old around me. will be like, who is this bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Out of Florida, we got uh, Ariel. Ariel's on the phone. How you doing, love? Yeah, voice. Hello. I'm good. Okay, cool. Now you have you have a son? No, I'm 24 actually. Oh shit! Now do you think oh. I'm doing the right thing or I'm not doing the right thing? Um, you definitely should have came to him way earlier than coming on the show because that's gonna be definitely bogus. He gonna get back. It's gonna get back to him one. He and get over two, it, I mean, the chick is she <laughs> yeah, knows shit. what she's doing. Yeah, if you willing to show his dad text messages, she already uh -huh. knew he was from. You know what I'm oh, saying? He blasted okay. right there. And I and I think that's what she was doing. I think she was trying to show me my son was right. From. She blasting him with you basically. Yeah. You should have punched hey, that bitch. Ariel, that yeah, yeah. Ariel, you I want to ask you a question. Being twenty-four, this is Lewis Dix. Do you young girls know when a boy is sprung and how far you can take him? Oh hell yeah! Oh yeah. yeah! Can she answer the question? They don't know because this girl thought I was crying because I was fucking sprung. Bitch, that Viagra was fucking with my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> but but Ariel, so, so you you know right off the top which guys which guys you can get stuff from. I mean, me, I've been married for seven years, so that's a different story for me. Right. But, I mean, sure. yeah, I can definitely see seven. when a guy size. in there. 16. I'm say, sorry. It again, say it again, I'm sorry. Dress size. My dress size? Yeah. I'm a size four. <laughs> Ooh, she's small. So you were 17 Are when you, you got married? Are you a midget? Married? I've been <laughs> married for seven years. You, you were 17 when you got married. Did you have, you have kids? Do you look no, I was 18. Kid? My birthday's actually tomorrow. I don't so have any happy kids. Birthday. You got a KRS-One nose. <laughs> so what's wrong with her, huh? Something wrong with her. Is this a high school sweetheart? Is this a high school sweetheart? Yeah, a high school sweetheart. That's Craig Mack's daughter. And, uh, <laughs> Brad, this is Craig. What, what do you, like what do, you do for a living? That's Craig. Ariel Mack. <laughs> what do you do for a living? Y'all, y'all, y'all. I'm a custom shoe designer. And then what? What oh, is it? And what is what is he? You spray is paint that one, huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't knock her hustle. That's yeah, airbrush. Well, I can do them, though. I can do you got a website? You got a website, love. I'm sorry. Do you yeah. have a website? No. Oh. What, what does your husband do? He's in the military. Shoe laces in the street in the shoes. <laughs> yeah. Hell no, he's active Got him duty. Got up, baby. He's active duty. Oh, yeah, good. he's a marine. Oh, oh that's okay. oh, so he's not around you, so right? Young. Oh, he's right here. He right there. What right is he here. Doing? Is, why is it, what is he off? What is he off or something? Why isn't he out, uh, out there fighting? He's, everybody he's ain't got a fight. Right now. He's training for a different job, so he's not out there. Put him on the phone. I'm going to see how, how tough he is. Oh, oh, hold on. By Lewis Dix. <laughs> Boom. Lewis. Get your ass. Well, Hello. Get the phone. Well, Hello. Hit. What's happening? Yeah. Hey, what's, what's your name, man? What's your name? I'm Evan. Evan, what, what's your rank, Evan? I'm a sergeant. Sergeant? Okay. Yeah, first we just wanted, we first thank one, you. yeah, thanks a thanks lot, man. Thanks for serving your country. That's first of all. Because Corey thanks, Holcomb Evan. wouldn't do the shit. Thanks Corey. for slaughtering the babies out there. <laughs> <in> the <laughs> <game>. <laughs> Come here, little <laughs> bah! Corey. Somebody got to do it. That's what they do. Corey, stop, man. What? That's what they do. Hey, <laughs> not everybody. Hey, Sergeant, were you over in Iraq? No, I haven't gone yet. You haven't gone? Have you been anywhere? Nope. Well, why sure. are we thinking? Of, where is this? I've been a sample. Oh, well, okay. We got an unemployed sergeant on the <laughs> Thank you for the phone. I object, you He is putting the shoelaces in her Air Force One. 877-2106-106 is the number Baca. to call into. Uh, we're talking about henpeck. Call in if your son is that way. Give us a story. You might get some free outfits today. Uh, in the house, Corey Holcomb's in the house. We've got a new comic in the house all the way from New Jersey. Jonathan's yeah. in the house. Apparently be ripping things. How long are you in town for, man? I'll be here to 
tomorrow, Thursday. I'm now, flying out. And let's be honest, Speedy. This nigga all raised us, his hand and talked at the all, same time. All of us here have been handpacked at one point. No. No, no yeah, come no, on. Lewis, come on no, now. Lewis. No. Corey Hogan. Lewis, never. No. I, I, got, I got fucked over by a girl. Every man get fucked over by a girl. No. That don't mean you handpacked, though, because you get fucked over. No. We're well, not talking know, about fucked over, Lewis. We're talking about running a relationship. When they, when they got you by the nose. When and you're sprung, when your nose is There you go. Your nose Yeah. Now, now, probably most of us may have been pussy whipped once or twice. Oh, yeah. Isn't, it, it does, isn't pussy whipped the same as hand pack? Don't be pussy no. whipped. No. no. That, you, pussy. you hand pack by the woman that you're in a relationship with, yeah. I think. I think that's the definition of what that is. Like a woman, that's your, even if it could be your wife, you know, if, if you don't she have, say, a, you do. If you don't have a, a police history against your woman, you are hand. <laughs> your girl ain't never been injured where other people had to step in. Corey, you can't say that. Now, what you do you can't call hit her like that? What? Sprung on men. What do you call tangerine? What do you call women? Okay, that's... so what is a, what, 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 I never heard of the term hempex. So what's the question? Really? No, I never heard of that well, term you're before. You're a girl, so you wouldn't have heard of that. So what, what's the when term I'm, when the girl sprung on the guy? Sprung. No, they know. call you know what they call them? Stalkers. They, they fucking plaintiffs. Because when they <laughs> get robbed, they go see Judge Joe Brown's short, goofy ass. <laughs> I seen him in the Beverly Center with some motherfucking high heel boots. He ain't nothing about four feet tall behind that motherfucking. Lewis, so apparently he must have uh, went against you, Corey. Corey. Who? No, Judge, he go against all the brothers. He called brothers fools on his show all the time. I Young started to man. say something to him. We was in the Beverly Center. You, know who was like, on you a little show? short motherfucker? Uh, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Something cat, what's his name? Uh, Alley Cat was on the show. Oh, you Alley ever seen the one? Yeah. I'm promoting womanhood and doing something fucked up to manhood. <laughs> okay. okay, here's a question, Speedy. Excuse me, cut you off. What Before you uh, do that question, we gotta take a break. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank it's Speedy's Comedy Corner. Eight seven seven two one zero six one zero six is the number. It's Sirius one zero six. It's XFM one forty nine. We'll be right or back. Speedy's Comedy Corner. Yeah. If it's Speedy's Comedy Corner, I'll be Speedy. up in this. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Speedy still in the corner. Hint peck minute. Speedy up in this. Anyway, 877-2106-106 is the number. XFM 149, Sirius Radio 106, baby. That's what it is. Call in. Um, let us know how you feel about this. And uh, like I said, should I say something? Is it too late to say something? Lewis has his hand up again. No, I'm um, thinking celebrities who are hand Yeah, what's celebrities? Like Jay Z. Is Jay Z hand no, no, I don't think Jay Z's hand He's smart. Even though, no, what about that prenup that we did a show all about? All the cool boys with that prenup. That prenup was pretty uh, serious. That was the suck ass, trick ass prenup. <laughs> what's in the it? history of prenup? It's, what's what's it? in it? It what promised a certain amount of money according to how many children she had, how much time she took off work for each time. Just to have the baby. Take a minute. That's five men. That ain't even the shit that That's Eddie's. That's but, but he's was, worth he's worth he like time. he's worth like eighty or ninety million five million dollars. Trump changed. But it, it was it was stretched out as how much baby. money she gets per child per uh, year they're married. How much uh, the ring has to be worth? How much the house has to be worth? And all these different but things. I it was pretty gangster. I don't because. think he, I don't think that would be a definition. That's of business. Get it. He got an ugly nigga with money prenup. <laughs> yeah, because he whoop she your has, ass, Corey. She Ooh, that you, can't, you, you can't go to New York, nigga. Them niggas a state property and whoop your ass. Okay, Jay-Z might get some motherfuckers to whoop my hand, but Jay-Z ain't whooping my hand. I ain't never losing to a camel. Uh, how about Chris? <laughs> oh! how about That's the quote of the how day. About Chris, right? How about Chris Brown? <laughs> And, with um, Rihanna, and oh, Rihanna. Uh, oh, he just gave her a promise ring. They ain't gonna last. These niggas no, no. is okay. grown well, giving promise okay, rings. Okay, what, what about Nick Cannon? Nick Cannon, Would definitely. Say, Nick Cannon. I love Nick Cannon, Cannon, but I think that Mariah is not his type. That Nick nigga Cannon married is, his mommy. He came up. He a wholesome mouth. type of guy. She go, Nick Cannon gonna have gray hair in two years. Bobby he Brown. Came up. That pussy Bobby been around Brown. the block. No, cocaine had him. Anyway, Hell no. uh, we got a phone call from Jay Cool from Miami. What's up, Jay Cool? Hey, what's up, Jay Cool? He's on MySpace. Let me tell you something. Y'all need to get on y'all gang. Why? Because, hey, check this out. You need to let him know what the choices are that he's choosing. Tell him a story. Uh-huh. Tell, her what, tell him what she did. Uh-huh. And let, her, let him know that if he keep it up, he might see somebody like Corey sitting up in the bed watching Judge Joe Brown. <laughs> Sitting on the couch with no drawers on. That's, That's my thing. Disgusting. I love to do that. Yeah, that was disgusting. funny, J. Cole. All right, I'm going to definitely do that, that, that thing, man. Because it is. It, yeah, I can't have my son go out like that. Because I don't do this shit. I don't yeah. chase behind women. 
Uh, he had to see you. That's because you got older. And you no, no, Corey, I've been that way for Let's do one. some correction. You didn't chase woman that's worth no, chasing. Bro, I'm a pimp from, from the wheels up, baby. Don't ever get it twisted. You didn't chase the pussy. Oh, speedy. I didn't, he a pimp with 20 Corey kids. flies in. He I'm going to say, I done fuck some bitches you used to care about. Say it again, Corey. I done fuck some bitches you used to care about. I have feelings for it. I don't tell you. Speedy bought me a promise ring. All right, we got another phone. Thank you for phone call, man. From Thanks, I- cool. idea, they say idea. your bitch is too fat to run. That's why you don't chase them. <laughs> <laughs> so you gonna run with that joke? They hover. It was kind of. I thought it was. I thought it was gonna rock. They hover. <laughs> All right, we hey, got man. idea. Idea. That's funny. Aldea, Aldea, Aldea from oh, Pennsylvania. Hi, How you doing, love? No skinny girl. I'm doing well. Look, leave that baby alone. Let him leave go ahead alone. and let let him do what he do. My husband. I work nights. He works days. He calls me. They tell me he's up. He called me, tell me he's on his way to work. He called me, tell me when he got to work. He called me three times during the day just to check in. Call me, let me know he's going wait, home. Wait, wait, wait. Making sure you okay, home because he upstairs fucking out of it. <laughs> no, I don't think. <laughs> no, Adelia, you sound Adelia, like are a you nice serious, girl. baby? I'm serious. I'm Adelia. serious. It's just common courtesy. Acknowledging but Are the you in Vegas partying with Jamie Foxx and them? <laughs> That's what we want to know. You think he'll be texting you after that? That's why you got to tell him. Yeah, That's th- why. This is a proven point that, right here. This, this is, is the why same as Delia who point. said she was you a see? manizer on another episode, right? Before she got married. Hello? How long you been married, Adelia? Yeah. Since August. Long? Since August. And, oh, so you so since him. August, he's been blowing you up like this. Oh, oh, oh he's been doing oh, that before man. we got married. Call him yeah. about five years. Before we got you? married. How old are you, Adelia? And I'm an old woman. I'm 46. Yeah. Yeah, you sound you old. He must look like the dude off Heat of the Night. Which <laughs> <laughs> dude? Oh, he's the best you know the dude. The <laughs> ugly one. Okay, now, Howard Howard Rollins, Rollins, that's that's now, now sweetheart, nice let me ask you this. And I'm nice looking too. But okay, let me ask you this. Now, Thanks for your opinion. Let me ask you this. What are you going to do? What if, what if one day he doesn't call you? Are you going to get suspicious and think he's messing around? No. I'll be all right. I, right, right, but I know that's day. not yeah. gonna happen. I'm raising three boys, and they're so the you gonna, opposite. So, oh, so would you teach your sons to be like their dad, or be I'm like? I'm raising, I'm raising three boys, and they're the total opposite. The girl mm-hmm. call them too much. They like, oh no, this B is off the chain. She can't be calling me like this. Won't speak to them. Soon as they hear the voice, hang up. Do all your so kids have you- the same father? No, my husband is not their father. It's not the father of my son. His boys are the same way. I'm raising two of his children, and they're the same as my son. Yeah, you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fucking Corey, Corey. Thank I, you. I got that you know feeling, too, because she let him say the word B. We're going to hook you up. With I'm some, uh, we have some big headed gear for you for your call. Thanks so so I make sure you it. give them your address and we're going to get it out to you, okay? And give them your sizes as well. Okay. Are you, are you, you. What, size, what size are you? Yeah, what size are you? A lady's large. A lady's large. I like that she said ladies. A lady's large. A lady's large. Thank you. Thank you. 8772 106 106. Oh, you Get out of 48 in the waist. 4822. Right, we got a phone call from New Orleans. We got Big Gator on the phone. What's up, Big, Big Gator? Gator? Gator in the building. What's up? What's up, family? How y'all doing? What's up, hey, Big Gator? Gator. Are you uh, Katrina? Silly, silly. Hey, I'm a dad. I got three. I got two daughters and one son. Mm-hmm. But uh, they they young, so I ain't even going to go there with them right now. Yeah. But uh, what you need to do with him, bro? Send a little text message. Tell him to send a check a little text message saying he's sorry. Then fall back for a minute, all right? Then when the time is right, let him hit that ass one more time and just leave the motherfucker alone. Simple as that. Walk get, away from him. Walk That's away from him. That's all he got to do. Hit it and walk away. Like ain't nice. nothing. Like ain't shit happened. I bet that motherfucker be sorry she did that shit to him. But Gator, let me I'm ask you a question, Gator. How old are you? 28. 28. Damn, he sound yeah. old as fuck. You sound like you 58. Damn, you got three kids already? Damn. Yeah, man. Two I different baby mamas. 10. Two different baby mamas? Yeah, two different baby mamas, bro. Why are you on here? He sound like you got a receipt. I like his advice, uh, Louis Dix. <laughs> All right, thank funny. you for the phone call, Big Gator. <laughs> Lady Speed dog, get up. Eight seven seven two one zero six one zero six is the number. I would have in. about 10 kids, but I keep coming up with the 250. 
<laughs> That's all it costs. Right when you think about it, you go, I got That's it. That's the half. I got that. That's Playing Parenthood. Half. Playing Parenthood. <laughs> yes. Yeah, ignorant, man. Oh, we got a phone I know how call. to do it with the hanger, though. That's Corey. Hey. Bro, I'm not going to let you do that. What this. you talking about? I'm, I'm talking not, about Corey. Fix the stool. <laughs> Where your mind at? Get out the gutter. What stool? <laughs> <laughs> toilet. Toilet. <laughs> now, from Chicago. This is one of your niggas from Chicago. We got, we got Lawrence on the phone. What's up, Lawrence? What up, Larry? What up, Speedy? What's up? Not much, dog. Hey, man. I was you. A motherfucker that's 28 years old. You got three kids already, man. You're still on, bitch. Don't listen. He said, I'm here with your dad, brother. You know what I'm saying? How about that? <laughs> <laughs> I hear you, Lawrence. Yeah. So, what you think I should do, man? Hey, dude, I'm going to tell you like this, man. I, what you do is be a father to your son. Talk to him and find out, hey, dude, your bitch was down here with me, Jamie, and our crew. Now, that's all I'm going to tell you. You think about it how you want to think about it. And you just fall back. But be that when he do come to you, man, he got to grow up, baby. He got to hit that hard, concrete-ass wall, just like we all had to do. Maybe not in the same right. aspect, but he got to hit that wall, just like we had to do, and become a man. You know, well, it ain't too late for him, but you can't you can't walk the walk for him. You know what I'm saying? And that's the thing is, I, I was wanting to walk the walk, but then I was like, no, nah, I don't know if I should just leave it alone. And let him figure it out on his own. Well, but well if you real done, women obey and keep their head down. If you've done your part already, which it seems like you have had communication with him, uh -huh. and he's going that way, and he, that's that's the type of guy he's growing up to be. It really, even if you tell him, he probably ain't gonna listen. No, that's way. what I said. Great but, advice, but you Lawrence. Still, but you still but gotta, you still be gotta do your reflect. job. You gotta do your job. Run you a train with a bitch with your son. Now, though. <laughs> nigga over twenty one. <laughs> that's all right. You'll never stop. Eight seven right. seven two one zero six. You ain't never ran a train with your son, Corey. Yeah, that's Corey. That's sick. <laughs> Me and you to fuck bitches together. Yeah. You ain't fuck no bitch with your son, <laughs> Corey. That's you know the problem. What? Speedy's because Speedy's a father. He's not. He's not his buddy. He's a father. That's really gotta be a father first. You don't want to cross that line, Corey. You gotta be a father first. Louis Dix ran a train on his son. Party. You got to be a father. You would say Louis Dix runs a train on his son. <laughs> you got to. Who said that? No, don't that's say that. That's terrible. Who said that? That is that's, terrible. That's, 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 that's kind of fucked up. That's fucked up. Man, don't be telling that's the truth like that. And he got the skinny jeans on, too. <laughs> <laughs> he trying to sag the skinny oh, jeans. Oh, with the high <laughs> heel Timberland boots. Uh, Damn. All right, all right, all right. Any right. Chuck right. Taylors with the heel on it. What, what, <laughs> hey, Rodney, what did son say while he was doing it? You better shut up. <laughs> ah, hey, Rodney, ask me that. <laughs> what did son say while he did it? He better pull out. Oh, Corey, hey, come on. Hey, 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 hey. this is Do a comedy show. Do gay people pull out? <laughs> come on. Corey, ah, do, do gay people bust inside? Team this week, man. Stop that. That's right. Wow. Down with Donovan McNabb. <laughs> <laughs> Donovan McNabb from Chicago, fool. Mm -hmm. All right, well, be nice. I want him to win. Be nice and cool. Hey, that was Hey, that we, we got to <laughs> <We're gonna laughs> go to a break, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> Louis. I'm sorry. In the That's producer, wild. Producer, Something wrong with you guys. Just walking around and laughing with you. That you want the producers to have your back? Huh? No, you want them to have no, that back? Was good. So anyway, man, speaking of kids, speaking of kids, guys, we got a young man, <clears throat> and I'm on my way to the inauguration. I'm going to be 30 feet away from Barack. What are you actually doing? Yeah. I'm going to be interviewing people there, but uh, I'm going to just be play Fox by play, up. calling in, letting y'all know how it is in D.C., and I'm just ecstatic. My mother is crying because she knew her was going. But we got a young man that's going to come on the air her. What you gonna who's wear? in high school, some clothes. He goes to Benning High, and uh, he's on his way to the inauguration. Mr. John Dizzle, Dazzle, Dizzle, 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 and um, he's uh, pretty much. It's, it's kind of dope story, and uh, I guess we want to do it now. Or we can come back. We'll take a quick break. Come back. Uh, the school loaned him eighteen hundred thirty-seven dollars. Is he an athlete? Uh, apparently not, because nope. they loaned and it to is him. Is he whipped? <laughs> yeah, you can ask him if he's yeah. ever been whooped. He's beyond the school whipped. Yeah, we, I didn't know they was loaning money. So we're gonna come back, talk to this young man, and you can call in, talk to him, and uh, or if you're going, let us know. Lend you're going. him some money. You can Eight seven seven two one zero six one zero six is the number to call in. It's Speedy's Comedy Corner, and I be Speedy up in this. Yeah. 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 Is that Chris Rock? I think it was Chris Rock. Yeah. It was a young Chris Rock. Young Chris Rock. Yeah. Yeah. Young Chris Rock. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so in the house. Take your music out in the house from Banning High School. He's a senior year Banning student. Go ahead on, Tangerine. We have John Dizadare. He's a senior at Banning High School in California, and most of the students apparently are very underprivileged at Banning High School, so they want to send 18 students to the inauguration ceremonies. It's costing them $837. So what they're doing is giving you an $1,837. They're giving you an opportunity to invest in them, $10 a share. If you do 1 to 20 shares, you get a certificate of appreciation, 
and a postcard sent to you from one of the students from D.C. And if you do 21 to 50 shares, you get an invitation to the dessert reception with the students. And 51 to more shares gets you a day of volunteer work in your name from the students. So we have Let's one go. student here named uh, Mr. Dizadere. Tell us about why you want to go and why you want us to uh, well, yeah, What's the get experience you you're money? looking for, man? Well, uh, Stay close wanted, on that microphone. All right. Go. First of all, my name is John Desider, and uh, at first we had talked about this like a few months before this all happened and everything, but uh, I wasn't going to go at first because it just was just too much money. <laughs> right. <laughs> Good reason. Yeah. Yeah. Simple as that. Yeah, you and, um, can't sell that many cans. Now, I, I still wanted to go, and the reason I wanted to go is because, first and foremost, uh, my dad never thought this day would come. His oh, dad shit. never thought this day would come. His dad's dad never thought this day would come, but, you know, it came. And uh, for me to be there, it'll be a moment in history for the whole world. But most you ain't for gonna me, cry now. Are you? No. <laughs> okay. Cool. I'm, just I'm gonna cry later. All right. <laughs> uh, but uh, it is it's it's a it's a big thing, you know, especially for African Americans. And uh, I just want to be there to be a part of that. So right. big up for your family too, like you say, your your parents, yeah. your your grandfather's father never thought they would see something. Yeah. Like that. So is your family poor? No. Okay, so. Are you in a gang? No. Good. Okay, <laughs> Hilarious. Um, now, you ever fucked the bitch? <laughs> Corey. Are you a be, virgin? Be nice. Yeah. So, no. no. Not a virgin. Are, you, um, are you pussy whipped on anyone? No. Okay. If what? Tangerine offered you some pussy, would you take <laughs> it? Now, where are you going to college? Answer the question. Stop. Answer the where question. Where are you going to college? Which one? Yeah, where are you going to college? Where are you going to college? Yeah, lost uh, focus now. See? We're talking about sexual. college. Y'all talking too much. What you saying? Jonathan, where are you going to college? I'm going to Bowler University. What's your major? What's going to be your major? Communications and business. Wow. So if somebody wanted to send you some money to help you out with the, because you've already gotten the loan, your ticket, everything, right? Mm -hmm. Where are you staying at? I'll be staying at the Jeff Kennedy Hotel. Okay, cool. So you're already set to go. You just got to, how long are they giving you to pay back the 1800 Till I graduate, which is in June June. 17. All right, so give them the information. If people want to take care of you, you know, maybe give you $10, what it may be. Tell them what they have to do. Stop uh, breathing well, so hard, Corey. If you're making checks, make them payable to Banning High School and write Destination D.C. on the memo line. Uh, attention all your mail to Christina Green or Susanna Munoz, uh, so they'll be sure to receive your donation. And the address that you would mail it to would be Banning High School, which is 1527 Lackme Avenue, L-A-K-M-E Avenue in Wilmington, California, 90744. Desiree, read that for me again. Um, once again, if you'd like to donate, just write the check out to Banning High School. The shares are only $10 each, so you can just donate as little as uh, 10 shares. If they had the 180 man. people doing that, that would pay for one person's trip. Banning High School, the address is 1527 Lackme Avenue. That's L-A-K-M-E Avenue in Wilmington, California, 90744. Now, are you documenting from the minute you leave Los Angeles to go there or what? Yeah. How, how are you documenting? In a journal. No. You well, not No film crew? Huh? Mm-mm. No, okay. Shit, he got eighteen hundred. Hey, hey, John, John, this, this sounds like a very exciting trip. You, you're going out there, and how many kids? How many people are going? There's eighteen going, but only two African American students are going. Really? And that's wow. the, what's the rest of Banning Latino? Uh, Latino, yeah, yeah. Because I mean, they know that ain't no white area. It used to be Latino, but it is now. Yeah. You like have wow. brothers or sisters that used to go there? Yes, I did. Yeah. What do you have? What kind? Um, I mean, what, what? Not what kind? I mean, what? What kind Boy of brothers and sisters? I mean, what denominations? <laughs> two brothers and two sisters. Older. And, or you don't even want to know about older. your brothers. Older. So oh. you're the youngest? Yeah. <laughs> no, that's not true. I'm no. no I'm, I'm, so you, cause you seem like a well-adjusted young man. I mean, we hear so much about teenagers and how, you know, crazy you are and how unruly you are. Especially you like, that area of town. Because Wilmington is next door to Compton, right? Next door to close, Compton, close. Long Beach. And Carson, yeah. So Carson. that would be more familiar to our national listeners. So, so what would you say? Would give us a, your outlook on, on, on what, what you go through on a daily basis. Are you threatened? Are you do, are you able to go to school back and forth without some people bothering you? What, what's your life like? Well, daily? that used to be my neighborhood. I used to live on both sides of Wilmington. Uh, I don't get hassled or nothing like that. I don't I don't take crap from nobody. But he anyway. Like he will pass. Uh, yeah, he'll put them hands on. Do you have tattoos? No, I don't. I have a question. Do you, do you, do you, do you, it better be, Corey, do you consciously dress a certain way to not to, I mean, is, is that part of your daily routine? And I can't, I can't wear blue. I can't wear red. I can't Well, he don't sag. wear skinny jeans. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm just wondering like what, what, what the mindset of a young person coming outside. How do you travel? Do you drive? Do you, is there a bus? Lewis, a everybody bus? like your kids. Well, I mean, I'm, everybody's got kids out there. You, you hear I'm about what happens to, to them. And no, then you, they don't have them. No. no. So, anyway, Corey, you, you had a question. Corey, you had a question. We've got to get him out of here. You had a question, Corey? You know yeah, I, I would like to know this coming <laughs> from the mind of a young man. You know How old are you? 17. 17. What's if a, if a girl hits you, um, <laughs> no. would you hit her back? Are you calling him? 
No, he would That's wouldn't. a yes. I, 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 will, I would breathe and take a moment, but I wouldn't hit her. There you okay. go. And with that <laughs> thought. Me. And with that thought. Thank, thank you once again. I just again. hit him, ladies and gentlemen. Thank He's you once right. again. Give the information one more time, Tangerine. Once again, if you can give $10, you have an entire share of stock in sending a, a student from Banning High School to the inaugural Day Ceremony. It's 1527 Lackme Avenue, Wilmington, California, 90744. Banning High School. Make the checks payable uh, to Banning High School. As a group, we're going to donate $10. Wow. We got the group. Hey, all how about of us sending money, some money here. for us I'm to go? Saying, I'm saying, you're saying with that. the foxhole. We gonna, we, in other words, we're going to put some money in. We're going to put some money in. When you were five years old or younger, what, were, what was your favorite <laughs> hiding spot when your mom and dad would fight? <laughs> <laughs> right hey, in front of me. Th- th- right thank, ju- thank you, John, for coming out. My right man now. put 20 All on right. it right there. That's two that- shares, which qualifies Rodney right Perry now. for a certificate of appreciation oh, and a postcard sent a from D.C. All right. All right. Yeah. All thank, right. You. thank you, big man. All right. There you cool. go. Give him a round of applause. Okay. Thank you, Rodney. Go. Give him a dollars Write it That 20 going to it, right, though? I got a 10 That's going on the dub sack. This nigga live by Compton. In the house, we have a man, Curtis, in the house. What's up, Kurt? Hey, We're hey, all over the place tonight. What's going uh, on? Fellas? You bought us some uh, stuff to to give away. Tell tell us about the. Yeah, I, we have uh, these big headed boxers. Uh, yeah. for the fellas, we got bigger headed boxers. And tangerine just sponsor. Girls. No, <laughs> no, no. We got. Tell them. Oh, I get it. Oh, big headed. I get it. It took a second, oh, but shit. that was funny. Way yeah. to go, Louis Dick. Yeah. You had to wait for it to get to the front of your lobe. Yeah, that yeah. shit fucked me up. <laughs> that was hilariously funny. So go ahead, Kirk. Yeah, we had a big headed boxers for the guys. We got the big headed boxers for the girls. B O X A H. Okay. The first uh, and only underwear company that has uh, pockets for condoms. Oh shit! We're I probably promo- need these. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, probably you do. Yeah, you definitely do. <laughs> Try they, using condoms. They got big Break pockets too. If you got the big girls, they got the big pockets yeah, for you. Yeah, only have a magnum. So, uh, <laughs> and, and in the house we got. Keith Davis. So Keith, uh, how'd you come up with the with the underwear, man? Man, actually, I was. Um, well, the, the condom pocket idea came one time when I was with a girl. Yeah, and, uh, reaching for the condom. You ain't yeah, changed. and I was like, because we man. know women are changing their mind. It means you get up to go get something. You know yeah. what? This ain't cool. That's yeah. your excuse. I don't know if we fucking so many that. girls raw. Yeah, and so I was looking around. I get it. <laughs> don't look at me like that, Speedy. <laughs> Old Speedy, he likes it raw. <laughs> <laughs> I was just out of look college. He's looking at you. <laughs> I fuck girls with rubbers because I wonder what they think. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. So anyway, I uh, I was having trouble finding <laughs> okay, the condom, sure. right? And yeah. so I was like, damn. And I couldn't find it. Uh, and then I was like, so I did. I found it, did my business, and then went out. My boy was in the living room. Uh, and I was like, yo, hey, I, um, I got this idea. And he was like, what? I was like, man, I couldn't find my condom, dog. So why don't I just, I should do like condom boxers. And it was like right when like like Magic Johnson that came you know that oh, came out shit. with his situation and I was like situation. damn that shit would work right and so uh, wouldn't it work for Magic? So I kind of uh, put it on the back burner and then about uh, four and a half years ago I was uh, shopping in like Bloomingdale's and I was like man I want to get into the clothing game I want to do something and then I was like out of my you know peripheral vision I saw underwear and I said man. You know, and I went over there and I counted it. I was like, damn, that's a whole lot of SKUs on this, this one shelf. Right. And it was like 450 pair on this one rack, Calvin Klein. And they had like three racks. So I looked at the back of it Do and I saw how much it was. And I was like, wait a minute. Right, hold on. So, so you, you actually make the clothes or you have somebody, you tell them how to design or, or you have a background in designing clothes? No, I, I just basically, and I'm an entrepreneur. Okay. Like so you just seven them. years old. And so I basically uh went you know did the entrepreneurial thing and then got into basketball and then i was one of the top players in the country and in high school basketball and ed o'bannon was ranked number one in the state i was number two behind him wow. so i had like scholarships and everybody after me and i was decided you know if i don't play ball i'm gonna make sure that i have something to fall back on and you uh, fell back we're gonna, yeah. we're gonna need some, we're gonna need some, <laughs> we're gonna need some back documentation on, the bed. on, the, on that number two player behind that's a fucking great oh, idea, i got it though, i got it ask you a question how, yeah. how bad was the sex that afterwards you went and thought about making underwear with con <laughs> making making that paper nigga. <laughs> well, anyway don't don't, don't, don't answer that but you know what i like about big headed condoms is their whole thing is they don't you don't have to wear another man's name on you instead of calvin klein you can just have it say you know big head it, it whole, makes it your own that's yeah. what i like about and it's a black owned black run Oh, oh, absolutely. Nah. We, 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 we actually show. still under we 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 uh, ship underwear to Africa, Uganda. We support uh, the uh, Heritage right. Foundation. We raise money for them. That's we sponsor great. kids. We build kitchens for the communities. We build like uh, 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 farms where they can. You know, we, we're not just giving them. We're actually helping them. Oh, Here's cool. an idea. Can I get a pair of drawers? You guys yeah, should make you should make condoms with windshield wipers on the inside. 
when you ain't got time to wash up before you go see your real girl. <laughs> <laughs> that was a long hey, joke. Hey, well, you know what? We got, <laughs> we got the. We got the it was uh, funny, but it was long. Hey, let the, me do this right quick because right. we had a lot of callers on the phone. That's what we're going to do. If you called in or you're holding on the line, give your address and we'll send you out because you was holding on the line. We'll send you out one of the uh, some of the outfits that we have, uh, the giveaways that we have. So if you're on the phone right the big now, big headed box, big headed box, we're going to hook you up because a lot of people on the phone wanted to talk about the subject we had, okay. so we don't want to diss them. What, what, so. what, but what's the breakaway series of the boxers? I just want to know well, what like that is. We got the first ever breakaway boxers. Oh, let me see that though. So you snap loose? You know what I'm saying? You just break oh, away. Oh, cold. And you don't get caught up in the I like that. I like that. Let me get a pair for one of my niggas. Show them what time it is. Let me get a pair for one of my dudes. I need a pair of those. Are you ready? No, you don't know it. No, you don't know. Well, all of them make it happen. <laughs> it's just Speedy. like a pair of basketball pants. That's you right. can pull them right But they off, snap right. on both yeah, sides. I knew to... this was going to be fire. Yeah. Nah, Corey, Speedy, you don't need these. Yeah. Yeah. You Corey trying to get you some love. Pants, let, me, let me get a pair of those. Yeah, That's you, you Corey. They're you, dog. They got cows. <laughs> and they come in great. Right. Look at these. Caution. These right. are yellow with black. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's what I need. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Corey, get on the line. Get on the thing. You like them, man? These are dope. This is brilliant. Yes. Some breakaway underwear. Is wow. off the chain. Can you put a condom in those too? Hey, I yeah. want everybody to know. About a Can I see the yellow one? You got to see these drillers, man. These drillers is cold. He got some like the breakaway snaps. See what I'm saying? Yeah. He got some, he got Hold some it up again, Corey. Like Hold it up again, Corey. What you think, dog? What time is that? That's uh. The website is bigheaded.com. Bigheaded.com. Uh, Where clean up every, spills. Hey man, he got some Where cold drawers. Everybody draws measures here. up, fellas. These are drawers you need. I'm gonna need to break away. When you just met me, I need a pair that won't break away. Yeah, because ain't having, shit he gonna be he's doing. He's only an X large. You got any more double A's? Oh uh, yeah, yeah double double his way. stomach gonna fit in those. All right, we gonna do that in one second. Hold on, Corey. You got something for the forehead for tangerine? <laughs> <laughs> now tell us about they the lady ones too for the ladies. Yeah, tell us oh, about the ladies. Oh, they do have thongs. Well, these with the high. ladies, the ladies, if you go to bigheaded.com, you can see the uh, the satin boxes. You got the thongs. You got the camis with the shelf top. These are sexy. You got the, yeah, peekaboo sports bra. I mean, oh, they just, have booty shorts for me too. That's what's up, hey, man. Oh he got some goodness. nice shit in here. Hold on, hold on. Do you got any booty shorts for big girls? Oh, absolutely. Everybody big measures girls up. Shouldn't be in All they gotta do is just put on some oh. shorts. They <laughs> shorts <laughs> automatically become they booty shorts. Exactly. exactly. But did y'all see? They can put on them breakaways. Did y'all see? The, did y'all see the detail in the fly? No. Man, well, got the, they got, the, got the measuring tape. He just showed it to me. <laughs> There's measuring tape on the fly of the boxers. So, ladies, there you go. You want to see hey, exactly dude, what you Hey, dude got some man nice drawings, wow. man. <laughs> These are great. <laughs> Bigheaded.com where everybody measures up. No, this is a great it's idea. Product, it's very classy. It's, it's incredible. Yes. It's a really what nice you, product, though. Yeah, is, is thank it, you very um, much. Is it about the same price as a pair of Calvin Klein? Uh, yeah, it's competitive. I mean, we got a better product. We we got high thread cotton. So, high cotton. Let's make sure we do this. So our 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 last we go go our last fifteen callers. Can we do that? Absolutely. Our wow. last fifteen callers. Make sure you give your address so we can send you out and let us know what size you are, and we're gonna send it all to you. And my man gonna hook you up. Uh, it's big headed. Uh, is it underwear? What is it called? Big headed boxers. Big head. And the women's line is called big headed too. And the tagline is because without girls there'd be no guys. I'm there Corey Holcomb, and I endorse his draws. <laughs> <laughs> These are dope. Go ahead, girls. Do the girls have condom uh, pockets? Yeah, yeah, we're building condom pockets. You ain't got no more double well. A. Shut the fuck up. The girls yeah, ain't got condom. I got you. Going to get them. No, we, we're, we're putting those in. I wear these on stage. Yeah, you wear those. This nigga wore a robe on stage. You really would. I wear these on stage. We got robes too. These are cute. That's hot. We got robes. I'm wearing these tonight. Hey, can I these see those? Cute. Can I see those white ones down there? Gonna no, you're gonna get a, a racing stripe in those. You don't want to do that. Oh, oh, those are small. Never mind. Those so anyway, I'm so too, so I'm too big for those. So are you, Louis? Are you any uh, any stores are right are now? Or you no, basically? No, we we sell primarily online, yeah, so. mm -hmm. and basically um, that allows us to, to make revenue and give back. They so we have, you know, and we also looking at, we're opening our own stores. So okay, you know, it's uh. So people want to get in touch with you. How do they reach out to y'all and get some, get in order stuff I mean, online? I mean, uh, info at bigheaded.com. Just reach, right. just send us an email, and then if you got, you know, we're looking for models. We're looking for you uh oh, know, tangerine. You got, you got the the look to be big headed. Hey, you know that's me, <laughs> tangerine. <laughs> Hey, yo, how, how, how big for is the industry, though? I mean, I mean, you guys are brand new in the industry. It's Calvin Klein and those big names. Like, like, are they like squeezing y'all out? I mean, no, they gonna try know. to bite nah, this we, shit. We, this shit yeah. good. No, nah, we got, we got, we got the Jew lawyers, dog. Yeah, <laughs> there it is. Yeah, we know. Get we know, we handled our business, and, man. And, and not only that, but we got patents. Hey, no. We got everything trademarked. And that's the most important you thing know, is the patent. It's clever. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. patent on the patents. pocket is what what's a what's a wrap to me in the industry. I think. Yeah, and plus the industry, plus this is our goal, our objective is to put a dent into the industry, grab market share, and then 
give back at the same time. Wow. Build community, build corporate citizens, help kids. I mean, shoot, we got a black man in the White House now. Good right. people make a good right. draw. But this that's is right. exciting for me. So, so Corey is slogan. on the team. I'm on the team. Social and I'm on the team because this is the closest Lewis. I've come to having sex. See? <laughs> Man's draws me? <laughs> with condoms in it. Man draws with condoms uh. in it. See? Yeah, and so it's about safe sex, too. You know what I mean? Right. We got yeah. condoms. Kids are thinking it's not cool to use condoms. Now, actually, what kind of models you know are you looking for? All sizes. Everybody measures up. That's so right. And, and they just call, they, they go to the website? Go to the website, info at bigheaded.com. Send a picture. Send a picture, headshot, body shot, you know, preferably in boxers or in booty shorts. So we can see how you will compromise. Yeah, I need to see a brother on the box. I don't mind seeing the white dude, but I need to well, see Well, he's brother. actually Latin, so we kind of oh, had well, to go in between. Well, you can't tell. Yeah, yeah. It's only can't his torso and legs. Yeah, he's vanilla. Yeah. He's not yeah. black. Yeah, he, could be man. he could be black. Yeah, okay. Manalo, he could be From Louisiana. Yeah, that's really nice of you to well, come here and share this stuff with us. Well, I appreciate the love. Yeah. 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 You got me on some more, I'll pay you for him. <laughs> no, nah, we're going to get some more. Oh, out. Out. So, we'll once again, thank you a lot for coming out, man. Thank you, Kirk, for Hey, man, I appreciate you having us on here, man. Appreciate and, you. and we got my singer guy in the house. Come on in, but Speedy. You know what? This might, if we give some of these to your son, it might help his self esteem. Oh, these draws. Yeah, that's true. These could be like you know. To help so, do you have any skinny leg draw? Oh, well, that's we do the sm my. smallest as small as we go. <laughs> <laughs> Not extra small. Skinny but, uh, leg underwear. Skinny, skinny leg yeah. underwear. We got the we got the uh, box of briefs though. Okay, you know? I so, love so, so I need some big girl stuff. With the condom pocket on the box. Oh, I need a pair of those. I love guys in box of briefs. Oh. Yeah, I, need so I like that. I need that's those too, Pimp. So I okay. see your box over there. So right. remember now, the last fifteen callers. Make sure you leave your address. The ones that already called in, you want them to call back? Is that what you're saying? No, no. There's people that we want to line. Oh, there's fifteen people waiting to talk. Okay, They're waiting gotcha. to talk. So we moved the subject. So not to to throw them under the bus. We're gonna hook them up. Those oh, last fifteen people. That's lovely. All right, cool. In the house we got. Okay, yo, the legend. What's good? This nigga came in with the sexy legend. voice. Hey, I like his legend. little outfit, Knocking his little velvet. Out. Tell him what you do, KO, the legend. I'm a producer, writer, DJ, MC, performer, business person. And what, what are you working on now, man? Um, right now, I got my single out. It's called She Wants to Get It. It's all over the country. We just shot the video. She uh, Wants to Get It? She Wants to Get It. Don't Inspired worry. by Michael, Michael Jackson. Yeah, keep it she in the wants closet. to get it. And, uh, oh, you know. Is it hot? It's, I, it's hot, I think are so. Are we queued up with it? Uh, 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 Scott, we queued up with that? We ready to, let me know when you're ready to go. We got uh, K.O., what is it again? K.O., just call me K.O., man. How'd you come up with the name? You uh, my dad is K.O., big K.O., I'm little K.O., so I just figured I'd do it in I his think What's your grandfather's name? <laughs> uh, OG <old> K.O. <laughs> the original K.O. OG K.O. OK, Corral. So you got to get in the music game, man. Uh, man, I actually was a freestyle rap champion on Power 106 for five months straight, like just... Like, take, give take. me one. Give oh, me one. Yeah, right I quick. remember you. Give me, yeah. give me one before your song come out. No, no, give no, me no. one. Just give us a quick one. You ready? Yo, now when I burn down the building, try your best to stay calm. I got salivary glands filled with napalm. I spit that fire, nigga, so don't try it, nigga. I'm an assassin for hire, nigga. Had you looking up from under my tires, nigga? Pull your motherfucking tongue out with pliers, nigga. It's so weird that I could cuss on the radio that. Because <laughs> you couldn't do that on Power 106. You sound real violent, nigga. <laughs> but he's smiling. That's like the one that yeah, came yeah. out because I was like, yo, I can say this. And yeah. So <laughs> Corey liked that motherfucker. He don't wear it. He's going to tell you this. He's going to play that song with the underwear on. <laughs> breakaway underwear on. The breakaways. Snap them off on beat. Hell yeah. <laughs> hey, we ready for the song? Listen, all right. My man KO what? KO the legend. She wants to get it. Legend. She wants to get it. Let's hear it. Oh, oh. Stop that stupid shit. <laughs> Fuck you, fast. That ass for you. Travel. Face. For the lady shaking ass in the place. Uh, we like the you, money. mother. For the liquor. <laughs> Let me know the rest. Uh, my style. My flair. That K.O. sound while fair The way that I live it up makes a stare Does that girl wanna give it up? Yeah New York, L.A., London, U.K. I'm like Usher, I did it my way And everybody listen to the words I say I'm worldwide, you can check the passport Got the game on my back like a jam sport That's a backpack, nigga, that's that I'd be Sinatra if this was the rap pack I know you like me, I know you love me You wanna kiss me, you wanna touch me I'm a bad boy, similar to Puffy Come to the crib, I can help you get lucky she was watching me soon as I hit the door. Hit the door. So I grabbed her hand and took her to the door. Took to the door. I knew, baby, I could tell she was to get it. Oh, she was to get it, get it. And before the night was done, we made our round. Made our round. She listened to me and said, she said, it's going down. I knew, baby, I could tell she was to get it. 
back on the block. Point guard, you can pass me the rock. I ain't really in the mood for the talk. I just wanna get you out your shoes and your socks and your pants and your shirt. Clock in, cause it's time to go to work. It feels good when I try to make it hurt. And if you really think you can do it in the dirt, in the backyard, don't try to act hard. Cause I know you were pressed by the black card. Cause I got chips and I got cheese. You say you don't care? Bitch, please. I'm the K dot and the O dot. You only fucking with a nigga cause I'm so hot. So baby, don't speak. Mama, don't talk. Be my top model, baby. Call me Kim Ma. Hey, she was watching me as soon as I hit the door. How do people get in touch with you, man? Yo, they so want to check it out. KO the legend.com. That's KO the legend.com. My MySpace, Facebook, YouTube, Social Security That's number, a beast, everything's man. on it. Now, so is, is, it is it done? Is that, the, is that how it would come out on stores? Yeah, I mean, we have the radio edit, of course, but yeah, that is, it's done. That's so, a done. beast, man. Now, Thank you, sir. I produced it. I wrote it. I'm performing it. So I'm just trying to get out there, get my name out there. So it's so, KO the legend.com. This is going to be your first hit. It's going to definitely be a hit. That's what we're working on. Yes, sir. That'd be great. Thank you, sir. That's a beast. That motherfucker's all the. <laughs> so you did all the music, everything? I did everything. I re- have, I re- have you shot the video? Yeah, we shot it. Uh, we shot it a few months ago. Not a few months, a few weeks ago, and uh, it's coming out in a week or so. You didn't ask Tangerine so. to be in? I didn't know Tangerine. I just requested her on MySpace today. Actually, I seen all, the, you? all the nice little but songs. Looking at Tangerine, would you oh. would you want her in and, your uh, video? Absolutely. Thank you. With the underwear say, hell no. <laughs> you would have said, hell watch no. this. Corey, do you want Tangerine in your video? Hell motherfucking no. <laughs> Lying ass motherfucker. And you could have it with Text the underwear on too, man. You make it happen with the underwear. <laughs> well, well, that was a hot song, man. That's, that's Thank you, sir. They're going to be playing that in the club. Yes, yeah, that was, that was a big I'm going to write a song, man. You know, I think I'm going to write What you going to write? What's going to be the chorus? I love my hand. my wife twice. And he left me. <laughs> and he left and me. And he left me. And he got shit. All right, all right, so KO, you can yes, go sir. for the top of the dome. I'm going to give you something until you can go wow, for the top. I ain't done all right, it in years. All right, don't worry about that. You can. Can I beatbox okay. for him? That's real. You might as well. You forehead box for him. <laughs> um, <laughs> so that's Lewis Dix. Lewis ain't had a woman in two years. Oh, shit. Work that, pimp. <laughs> yo, yo, I'm going to talk about Mr. Lewis Dix for the hell of it. For some apparent reason, he decides to be celibate. Before whatever, yo, it's KO when I'm spitting off the top of the dome. The freestyles never written on Sirius. Yo, believe it, we watching on TV. Niggas can't see me when I'm chilling out with Speedy and Tangerini. It's hey. K Easy off the top of the dome. When I grip the microphone, yo, it's on. Yo, my man c <laughs> <laughs> you make uh, yo, 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 that yo, 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 Go yo, right. yo, yo, he's doing his quick, and he's laying with his son. His name is Lewis Dick. Corey Holcomb. I'm from out south. Most dudes don't like me because my thing in the girl mouth. That's why she pout, and I'm full of doubt. Shut up, Tangerine, before I punch your ass out. <laughs> <laughs> e. Blake. He loves me so much. That go shit ahead, is so ahead, funny. Tangerine. Blake, you, can you go off the dome, Blake? Yeah, Blake, go ahead. Okay, here we go. Uh. Pass the microphone and let me rip. My niggas in the studio with the fat lip. I'm the one that did it. Let you niggas know. I come from South Centro on the microphone. Here we go. <laughs> what about New Jersey? How about John? Come on, John. Check it out, it's the kid from Break. New Jersey. A lot of y'all cats see me, but never ever heard of me. Aight. The lyrical lunatic, some call me an assassin. Aight. Stole your car, cause you really couldn't catch me. For real, G. I lost it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Stick. You know what they say, y'all know nothing about that. Sticks. We in the cypher. Eagles, <laughs> Eagles running hard, busting down doors. Something, we, we going to win the championship. Y'all niggas lose. Are you serious? Corey Holcomb, I'm going to sit it. Half the time during the day, I'm sleeping in abortion clinics because I don't want her to keep it because I'm fucked up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And she come at me for that child support. I'm a duck. I don't give a fuck. Bu I hate your mama. I nutted in her bathtub and didn't wash it. Put a comma wow. after. Put a comma. <laughs> speedy, your turn. Speedy, Speedy. Speedy, style. Come on, Speedy. One line. One line. Come on, I got go, 25 go with the kids, eight. and that's how I roll. <laughs> <laughs> I can show you how Speedy girlfriend sound when she start rapping. Y'all ready? Sound. <laughs> We about to look like that. Who the fuck is this? It's <laughs> me at 5.46 in the morning. The I can dawn it while I'm yawning. Wipe the cold out of my eyes. Oh. Oh. See who's this page of me. Wait a minute, this is Brady with you. Oh, it's my oh, son. Hey, he's oh. showing show us. Tell me where you're going to be at, Corey. Hey, this weekend, me and my man Jonathan gonna be in Jersey at the pack. Yeah, the New Jersey Performing Arts Center. Oh, that's a big yeah. deal. That's a high shit. So if you are a uh, 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 XM radio listener or a serious radio re listener, go up to Corey or Jonathan, tell me you heard him on the radio, and they're gonna hook you up. Downtown with Newark, you know what's up at the pack, motherfuckers. Yeah. Lou Dick, where hey, you I at? go back to uh, the show Sweet Life on Deck, so I'm glad I go back to the little kids. and, and of course. K.O., tell them where you're going to be at, fam. Yo, I'm K.O. The Legend .com. Check it out. Yo, I also wanted to tell you, man, to ask your son if he wasn't having sex with his girl, would he still be with her? Bam. Ask him if that's... Okay, oh, that yeah, is. we went back to that. Okay, yeah, cool. Just, All right, ask him that. <laughs> I'm going to let you get that Deep one in, Pimp. I'm going to let you get that one in. Kurt, tell him where you're going to be at, Pimp. Kurt, get in there, hey, Kurt. Hey, man, we're going to be in... Uh, Diego, you can reach us on uh, Facebook. And uh, my boy, Keith. Yeah. Yeah, my boy Keith, we down there performing at all the uh, clubs down there. So, Curtis. Kurt, why you dressed like you 27? Nigga, you all of 52. Hey, man. <laughs> that's why I'm dressed like I'm 27. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. dressed yeah. like I'm 52? Yeah. Should I come in here? I want to walk him, man. MC yeah. Hammer's yeah. uncle. Slammer. <laughs> Hammer's MC uncle. MC Hammer's uncle. Call him Slammer. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him what's happening. Give, give the uh, website again. Slap off, I'm going to get you sucker. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them how they can get in touch with you. Uh, you can reach me at, uh, again, info at bigheaded.com. And then um, I'll be this weekend. I'm working on some uh, camouflage boxers so no one can see you coming. Hey, on the real. Hey, hey. Nice. Boxers, but it's a big head from your head because you got a big head. Well, so. big head yeah, means to be confident. Head. It's right. to be confident within yourself. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So Everybody out there, you need to go to the website, check them draws out. I'll prove it. He got, yeah. got something different for yeah, you. They for official. Real. They and official. You, we got five people that left their address. So they okay. can get some. So we're going to hook you that up. You got some Monica Lewinsky right. panties, them skeets, skeets, skeets. I'm going to uh, wear no. mine when I finally get I'm some. Wearing. I'm going to wear mine when I finally oh, get I'm some. Oh, I'm going to show you. I guarantee you they'll be the most comfortable boxes you ever had on because we engineered them to fit your body. They're not like box square boxes. We ride up your shit and, you know, pivoting and yeah. shifting all day. We really engineered. You got one so for thugs that can pack a pistol. Exactly. <laughs> like uh, your man clicks. <laughs> Rodney Perry, tell me where you're going to be at. Now. Poster <laughs> in that moment. Uh, hey, uh, uh, Rodney, Rodney Perry, uh, holler at my Facebook, my MySpace, my website, RodneyPerry.com, and uh, daily on the uh, air with Monique, uh, TheMoniqueShow.com. If you want to hear Yeah. Online. Make sure you check it out. And Tangerine, I'm sorry. Beautiful uh, Tangerine. You look good tonight, though. Uh, Lamar you. Odom. Thank in you. The house. Lamar Sticks. Odom. <laughs> um, the yeah, you can hit me up on, on shut up, fat bastard. You can hit me up on Tangerine.com. It's Whoa. not spelled like the fruit. It's T-A-N-J-A-R-E-E-N. You can buy my herbs for sexual stimulation. I have really? for men. It's called Jack Rabbit. I have them for the ladies. It's called Bunny Rabbit. I also have a full body detox on there. I have a calendar for sale. I have posters that I will autograph so and send you to you. So Tangerine.com. T-A-N-J-A-R. E -E -N. You want me to bring the bunny rabbit and jack rabbit in? Who yeah, is calling? Okay. That, 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 that was to Corey Hoke. Yeah, the, the fat, fat bastard at the end. Get in me, belly. When are you guys yeah, going to break the tension and just do it? When oh, my God. No. He's they already did. Well, when you dye your beard, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> he can't. Uh, Eric Blake, you tell me where you're going to be at. Smith uh, shit in your How to get in touch with you? I'm going to be at at the University of Texas, the 20. What was that? The 27th, 23rd, 23rd, University UT, man. UT. Check me out. Yeah. And John, tell me, you know you're going to be good. Yeah, yeah, I'll be at the New Jersey Performing Arts Center this Friday. Me, Corey Holcomb, Give Raj your website, G. dog, so people can touch me. MySpace.com yeah. forward slash Jonathan Martin 76. Hilarious. I saw him last night at the comedy meeting. store. He's funny. Catch me at stdmatch.com, Corey Holcomb. <laughs> Bam. Hey, I'm uh, at Lewis Dick. Also, too. Oh. Shut up, Lewis. <laughs> also, too, we got my man. Don't forget now. Make sure you, you, you help oh, yeah. this young Support man out. Oh, yeah, support this guy at Banning High School. Give, um, give him your name. coming back John. to the mic. John Dizadere, the senior at Banning High, trying to get to the inauguration ceremony. 
Well, he's actually going. But oh, he's, he's going, but he's got to. He owes his school eighteen hundred and some change. So please well, help him out. Ten dollars a share. Less we gave him twenty. Oh yeah, we, Rodney Perry could put twenty on his book. So if you guys want to help him out, John, you want to say hi? Um, you can send a check made payable to Banning High School, right? Destination DC in the memo line, and mail it to fifteen twenty seven Lacme Avenue, Wilmington, California nine zero seven four four. It's going to be a memorable experience for them. Tangerine.com, get your sex herbs. Yo, this your boy Speedy. This weekend I'm in uh, I'm in Oakland at Travis Air Force Base doing the damn thing. Also at uh, Celine's or, or uh, Celeste in Oakland uh, Thursday night it's with t- Tony one. Roberts. Is Tony there. Roberts and Chris Spencer, right? No, Chris t- couldn't go. So it's okay. going to be me and Tony Roberts, and we're going to be at the Air Force Base in uh, Travis Air Force Base. Uh, much love to all the Air Force out there doing the damn thing. We appreciate all our phone calls. Who called in? Tangerine. Oh, wow. We want to thank our callers. Rod in Alaska, Walt B. in L.A., Kevin, Mississippi, Tammy in Mississippi with a size 16W, oh. Ken in Georgia area, and her husband in the military, Evan, in Florida, J. Cool in Miami, Idelia in Pennsylvania, whose husband calls and checks in on her all the time, Big Gator in New Orleans, and lastly, Lawrence in Chicago. Thank you all for your calls, and shouts out to Jeremy Register, hey. Calfani Love, Jay Stewart, Terrence, and J. Cool. And make sure you give love. Love to uh, Miracle, who makes sure the show pops. Well done. Along with my boy Johnny Jeezy Mac. Yes, sure it's going to take a miracle. Point. And those, oh, also, oh. too, to the man who, who plugs us up every single week, John. Got James. it, the youngest. I thought his name was James. James. Um, let me finish. Oh, okay, John. J- okay. James in the house, <laughs> whose uh, team is now losing. This is the bullshit. Uh, so th- we have a great show tonight. It's Speedy. Make sure you hit me on MySpace, which is Speedy is Funny. That's Speedy. I-Z. Funny. And let me know what you thought of the show. We appreciate all the phone calls. Definitely go mad love out to our XM uh, listeners, uh, XM 149, uh, for listening to the show, Series Radio 106. Don't forget, Friday we're in the house. Jay Fizzle is in the house. Uh, make sure you go buy that Jamie Foxx album. It's one of the hottest albums Intuition. in the street. Go get that. And it's my, off the chain. My, what Lewis my, Dix. My dad wanted to say the Facebook people are really funny. That woman, uh, That's what Adriana you Moreno. About. You said that last week. Call you us. Like her. If you get the underwear, if you get <laughs> no, some your stuff, dad likes her. hit yeah. us up on, my, <laughs> on, on the Facebook and let us know what you thought of the underwear. If you've gone there, make sure you let us know what you think of it. All right? Thanks Peace for out. listening. May Speedy God bless you. It's Speedy Comedy Corner. I'll be... Speedy. Speedy. Up in this. Fuck you, Corey.